Thanks for staying with us. So a reality star, Tochi, has given his opinion on the mindset of some Nigerians. According to the model, Nigerians think that people with kind dispositions are pretentious and fake, while those who are toxic and rude are real. What are your thoughts on this? Join in the conversation and call us on 081-270-53687 or 091-390-76948. Hmm. People who are rude and toxic are seen to be real, while people who are nice and kind are seen to be pretentious. Auntie Nima, mm -hmm. tell us what you think. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I had ones that I was pretentious because wow. um, uh, someone thinks that my kindness or smiles and regular plays are too, too uh, what do you call it, too much to be real. Mm. You know, it can't be your personality. And when me, I was growing up, I was like that. I could be blunt. I have that side hiding somewhere. I could dash you, buzz, buzz, dirty word, bring slap kind of thing. Mm. So my mom would be like, you are beautiful, but your bad mouth, now they make you ugly. You know, constantly <laughs> saying, you need to learn to smile. You, it is all right to be kind. It yes. is very important to be kind to people. So I learned it. Mm. And before I knew it, it became second nature. I would not even know age-wise. I would have greeted you and passed. And that became normal for me. Until I heard Nigerians saying, ah, I don't mind that. I cannot be her. Wow. So everybody can be mad. Everybody must have a little level of rudeness. But I don't think it is okay. When I said hearing, it became popular. I just kept hearing people think, to explain your mistakes or your excesses or your bad nature, is to say, I'm just being myself. Hmm. I'm being, it's okay to be blunt. Hmm. I'm just being real. Hmm. You know? Hmm. <laughs> Auntie, go and learn good behavior. Thank yeah. you. You know, you need like somebody that. to slap sense into, into you. you. Hmm. But... When we were growing up, it was, it, it was something you'd be ashamed of. They would shame you to it. I know my mom's friends, I had three of them, who would regularly shame my rudeness. If I pass you and I greet you, and you didn't answer me, I'll call you back and say, I greeted you today, you didn't answer me tomorrow, I will not greet you. So shut up your mouth. Mm. Like, go, go, go and learn, mm. you know? Mm. So I learned, say, ah, I'm greeting you, ma. You know, it's important that people learn these things and don't shame the right things out of people. We now start to see the reality TV shows, all these uh, our, uh, popular people, mm -hmm. what they call themselves influencers. Mm -hmm. You know, people who just come on pages. Basbos. Without decorum, respect for language. <laughs> and they will say they are real. I think the <laughs> one that even surprises me the most is on the social media pages, mm. where if you post your picture, or you post, hey. say, hey, look at this idiot. Mm. Hey. You don't know me. Mm. And then you say, look at this idiot. Mm. My page. Who does she think she is? Mm. So we have now... Uh, Everybody's now the same age. Uh, mm -hmm. Apart from us being the same age, we are, you don't know me, you are just abusing me. Mm. For no reason, I didn't abuse you, mm. I didn't insult you. It was my page. It, it was my page. I posted it. You came to my page to abuse me. Mm. Uh, this, one, this one is a bloody illiterate. Hi. How can you say that about someone you don't even know? You haven't yeah. met. You know, you've never met. Now, uh, they are, they, these people are hiding behind social media because if you come to my front... You, you dare not. Can you come and tell me you my front that I'm, 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 I'm not this one or that? Mm -hmm. Me, that I don't walk alone. <laughs> <laughs> bounce out with bounce. Before I start to you, Cynthia. It's not possible. <laughs> so you're hiding behind social media, mm. to insult people. Mm. And I think we have just developed this. And again, I will go to colonialism because African people, we are not like that. Hey, Why can you are very people. correct? Why, wait, let me be clear. Sorry. Why can you are extremely correct? You know we have this reality show that these themes stem from, where we have a person just flare up and is entirely rude, insults another to the point of mental health insult. And the excuse in the money is the person was just being real. Mm. You know, they come up with all sorts of excuses. The things that we should be ashamed of, we excuse. But this year, respect have discovered. Mm. On this same online social media, people have learned to say, sorry, thank you, mm. in public. Want to look casual, you know, you want to look by, want to look sit and look back, 
Because I'm when sure. they say when they train you at home, you refuse to collect. It's from outside they will train you back yeah. home. Mm. People have now said training people back mm. to their mothers. Mm. Who taught you that this thing is right? Who trained you? For the past few weeks, if you are online, mm. the popular <laughs> blunt people, people that have got them out, have learned to humble. keep quiet. Mm. It is humble. not all right to, to be rude in the name what of uh, social media. Um, yes, I think um, where all this stems from is the fact that controversy sells. Mm. Um, and everybody is trying to outdo themselves. Mm. Um, I think the more disrespectful I am, the more, the more people follow yes, you. The wow. more notice I get. Wow. But originally, I don't think as Africans, mm. that is how That's we are supposed to be. Raised. Yes, because even on the streets, I come in contact with people who give it to you like that mm. without even checking where you're coming from, checking if you're the same age mates or... Mm in the same social mm. status. So I think everything came just like what YK said, you know, from uh, the Copycats. people who, of yes, what we people who colonized us. Mm. We are trying to be like them, but it's not in our character. Yeah, so I, I, I'm happy that we're beginning to call out bad behavior for what it is. So I had um, somebody uh, who was working with me recently, and I had a talk with the person. I noticed some things, and I was like, hmm, there are certain things they call... Uh, small foxes that spoil yes. the vine. So you may be very beautiful, talented, intelligent, you're good at the job and everything, but if you don't have some basic character that it is expected, you, yes. that your parents are supposed to have helped you nurture, but somehow, you know, some parents don't even have it themselves. So somehow the child misses what they're supposed to learn from home. If you carry this outside, people will call you out. People mm -hmm. will call your parents out. And if you're smart, you will learn fast on the job. You will learn, you will learn those behaviors that you need that, that you know, just gives you that wholeness as a human being, that people can relate with you. So it's not about, we all have to be successful. We all have to get there fast. We all have to, who are you as a person? True. Are you kind? Are you nice? Can people relate to you? Do you have empathy? Those are some of the things that we need to start celebrating people that have. Yes. And somebody yesterday, uh, I posted a picture because I went to install some new hairs. And the makeup I wore since... I was tired. My face was worn out and everything. And then I posted a picture on my page. And somebody came there to say, this picture is not fine. <laughs> <laughs> they say they're being real. Honestly, on my page. And I was like, and see, focus on the hair and not the face. You're not buying the face. The face is not for sale. Focus on the hair. But Nima, let me come to you. I don't know if we have time to take this before we go on a break. But let me ask you this question. How do you think we can begin to normalize kindness in such mm. a way that everybody is now kind, that we don't see it as somebody is pretending or trying to be nice. Before you go there, I need to ask you this question. Okay. When, because I'm older than you, does that give me the right to be rude to you? No. Mm. no. Because we also get it wrong. Mm. When, because I'm, I'm, I'm your senior, I can now insult you. Mm. I, 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 so, mm. I want mm. to I want to, because there's this girl, I think her video went viral, or, or her matter went viral, Lim Daikeji or something carried it. She said she was, she parked, uh, she, she was honing for someone that parked in front of her gate. The woman came out, the woman was older than her, she was young. Mm. The woman came out, and the woman said, why are you being so rude? Why, who are you honing for? She says, ah, Am I your mate? No, the woman was older. Mm, yeah. And so she started insulting the young girl, and she said, um, uh, Come on, you, uh, are you rude? Who are you running for? I says, Madam, you parked in front of my gate. I cannot get into my house. Mm -hmm. Then she said, they said to um, trade words, and the woman got out, and, and she got out of her car, and the woman slapped her. Yay. She said she returned it immediately. Be quick. That's how uh, everybody now started. Uh, you don't know, have respect. The woman now, I can't remember what she did. She now brought out a cane and started cleaning yes. the 40 the, year old. The oh, woman the older woman. The younger girl started cleaning the older, older woman. Oh, God. And the people were saying, oh, she's rude. She doesn't. Messy. Yeah, there's a limit to how you react to that. Okay. Go when ahead. We I throw it to Should you. I go on? Go ahead, go. Okay, so there's a limit to how you react to that. I have had a neighbor who's so far older than I am do this over the years, and I never said anything. And so the, I think in 2020, just before I had COVID, the neighbor started again. He would do things and, you know, and this time around, in his usual behavior, he would call out my husband. And, and this particular time, I just lost it. 
Because usually when it starts, I'll tell my husband, I don't want to have, I don't want an altercation, I don't want to hear anything. So even in his, everybody supports us. The old people will come and say, ah, you are so patient, you are so this, you are so that. I knew I had gotten it up to here. But there's a limit to what you do. So this particular time, as I was trying to get my husband out of their exchange, he called me into it. You don't invite me, or it don't matter. If you invite me, you see. <laughs> We see so, your full regalia. So <laughs> as he invited me, I paid him attention. Mm. I addressed him. I called out his age. Mm. told him to behave his age. Mm. But I would never raise my hand to him. Mm. Yeah. Never. Yeah. If he had slapped you, if he had slapped me, I would, take I, would, I would provoke another so that I have it on pictures mm. or an evidence of it, and I would immediately get him arrested. In fact, I would sue him for assault mm. of me, and I would also add that he provoked me, and then he reacted to slapping me. But I would not raise my hand, because as an African child on an elder... You're not supposed to do that. I, would, I know how to control mm. myself. I think the limit... When, when she blocked off her gate, it's enough to, to you know, to... to, to you, in fact, you have an action already. Mm -hmm. People don't, no longer have the mentality of that. Mm. You are calling her to leave your gate. She's holding you. She's falsely imprisoning you in your house. There are ways you think about this kind of thing. There are ways you even handle you it. You handle it. Yeah. No, she sure. wanted to so, okay, agree with you. So, so she but wanted to go into her house and... Okay, yeah, let's we'll take come a short back. break. When we come back, we'll take, take phone calls and messages. Stay with us. Okay. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So um, I know that people generally believe that nobody can be that nice. Nobody. They just, uh, we always, you know, look at people the way we look at ourselves. And we don't project our bad sides outside for those people who are conscious. But you always at the back of your mind feel that mm, the way this person is being, mm, there's, there's something in it for this person. And mm. we're always very suspicious of one another. How do you think we can begin to normalize Kindness, politeness, love, so that when you now see somebody who is on the extreme of rudeness, you know that this is the abnormal one and we need to deal with it. Okay, first of all, what do we, what do we define as being nice? Mm -hmm. um, being polite um, is just a basic etiquette everybody should have. Mm -hmm. um, looking out for your neighbor is a basic etiquette everybody should have. So when you deviate from that, that is when there's a problem. So, me looking out for my neighbor or being polite, I see someone, good morning, ma, good morning, sir, mm. and um, how you doing? The basics. The basics. Um, you now tell me to be fake. That mm. means there's something wrong. With you. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with the society you're coming from. Mm. Because that is the basic. That you're, should be the norm. You are very right. Yes. Our society mm. has become it's decadent. A, it's a and problem. It's not just even social media. I, look, there was a time. Whether you are young or old, you enter a place, you must, you must and greet. people sitting, you will greet. Yes. Cutsy. Cutsy. Good evening, good morning. You, you will greet. Mm -hmm. There was a time. You can, eh? If you don't, they will call you out. Mm -hmm. Where are, which home are you coming, coming from? from. Mm. So we used to train ourselves. Mm. Now, look at us. Look at us on the road. Look at us on the road. Mm. We abuse ourselves, abuse our generations. In our workplaces, mm -hmm. Uncle Road is far. Ah. In our homes. No, home. because before you reach your workplace, you must use that road to... I was coming this morning. This downfall, he came out and then stopped in the middle of the road I'm so that you. nobody can go. <laughs> Lagos story. Do you understand? That is... In, that is... He's so... That is... He's not polite. He's responsible. He's wicked. He's rude. Because you are... You, because of your own. Yeah. So, I don't know when we lost... Values. Mm. Mm. I like that YK. Yes. Where did we did get value? Okay, there's also this part of kindness not being selective. Mm. Mm. So you can't just be kind to a class of people, friend, a group of friends, or amongst your friends, just a, two, a group of two, three. Mm. Kindness is kindness. Mm. Looking out, you don't even have to be friends with people. You just need to be kind. If you're a kind person, no, that's why the pretense line is drawn. Yeah. If you're selective, then there's a problem. My daughter would go be friends with somebody. I said, I don't want to be friends with the other one, you know. And it's one person's birthday. Mommy, we didn't get her a gift, but you didn't say that the other birthday. I'll, call, mm, I'll you ask call her. her out. Wow. Is, is it okay to get everybody gifts? If it's okay, then we can try and start small. 
But if it's not okay to get everybody gifts, then we don't have to start at all. Mm. Say, no, this is my good friend. I say, no, that's not how it's done. They are all your friends, and it has to be like that. Kindness is that kindness is even basic. Smile. Yes. Good morning, give a person a smile. You learn it, you remember it. That's the way like you, you did not face smile people. yesterday, and I was worried. I told you this. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday when my she COVID, wasn't smiling at all. I took I was my so COVID vaccine, the second shot. It seemed like I had nails in my hand. You know, but that's what kindness is. Smile and everything and to people, to everybody. Mm. You don't have to select people. You're not the world is not your headache. Then the same thing to your if you are a rude person. Be rude to everybody. Be rude to everybody. <laughs> you know, don't be selective and be, be saying you're rude. Then when it comes to people you think you can get favors with, mm. extremely, you know. And to go and learn. A lot of people, when I, I actually this social media, I, maybe I'm even tired. I don't want any such example for my children. None of them. Mm. They're not role models to anybody. People who have real stories, real life, people who smile. I remember someone called out Ketensho and called her, called her names for being herself. And I've seen this woman over the years. She, that's who she is. But you don't bother to know, mm -hmm. and you claim to know everybody in public enough to insult everybody. Hmm. You, that you... <laughs> me. OK, go ahead. Sorry, because you haven't talked yet. Let me, let me just say this. If you can tell me I'm an idiot on, on, so, on social media, make sure that when you see me... You keep up the energy. You keep up the energy. That energy that you have, <laughs> continue it so that we can beat ourselves. Don't senses. smile when you see me. Don't smile. Very I'm important. I'm saying, auntie, I like you. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Just... <laughs> even once you can call me idiot on social media, mm -hmm. make sure that when you, 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 you look for me, so call me send idiot me your address so that I can look for you. Yes, yeah, so write your address there. <laughs> Like They'll say, I'm in my house, come and beat me. Hey, put your yes, house address. Put your house address so that I can come and look for you and we can, I, I, I can show you how idiotic I am. That's, what, that's my own point. Mm. Because a lot of these people, they are, they are not even your age mates. They will just be insulting you. you, you they, what they can't tell their parents. Uh, yes, so. They will be telling But some don't have shame. They tell their parents. Yes, we've, we've lost our values as Africans. Simple. Because um, in the past, when you misbehave outside, Mm. They take you back home. Yes. With kids. Yes. Uh, they they take you money. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. They take you back home. Your neighbor takes you with cane, reports you to your mother. Immediately. But now, you know, that is where everything comes. We've lost our values. You're, we see parents applauding their children for, for being, being bold. Mm. Oh, she's being bold. Yeah, she's standing out for herself. And that's, that's, that is not who we are as mm. Africans. Mm. Uh, let me... <laughs> Go ahead. Can you imagine... A 13 year old, you see a 13 year old in those days smoking cigar like, like, on the road. No. You will pull the ear. <clears throat> if you don't know the parents, you yes. will, who, are, who are your parents? That's you will pull friend. the ear. First of all, you will slap the cigar out of the child's hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're all right. Mm -hmm. No, you will be seeing. Is, is this a parenting it's, it's, expert? It's, it's, that, it's my mom. No, you see, with confession started with the speaking, uh, coaches. Nima. No verse. Let me finish this one. <laughs> Who will not allow? How can you go out with a child? And the child did not greet. And the person called out to your child and said, ah, greet me. And you said, no, you just abused him. No, yes. what's that? No, you know? that type of thing. I know, they come in, they come in big English show. When they start to speak all the English <laughs> of how the child was yeah, abused, the child. you will not be confused that the child I, I, I was traumatized. Child. Child. traumatized the yes. child. <laughs> you know, I mean... <laughs> In my own house, I watch my children, and my, particularly my first daughter, she can select. If she has crossed with one auntie that is not mommy's age, she will not greet. Hmm. And I watch her when we're passing, because me, I'm just smiling, hello, hello. And my daughter is just, say, auntie, me, I'm greeting you, you, you are yeah, escorting. Are you? are you okay? Like, Good morning. She, it doesn't come from my heart. So I keep explaining to her that greeting people, does it necessarily mean that somebody yes. has somebody has uh, abused you yeah. or that they are raising your head? To get to say a kind word, a smile, is to get goodwill. Mm, true. It comes like back that. to you. Imagine that I'm not around. The person that does not have any problem with you, something is happening to you, they will reach out. Some will even ex do the extra and say, Ah, I saw this child in a dangerous situation. Let us watch, mm. you know, take it, do something mm. about your child. That's how we grew up, child. I don't know about the people You're that All right, let's take a break. The conversation <laughs> continues. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Thanks for staying with us. Uh, let's take a few messages before we move. Yeah, I want to take this one specially. It's from Chinyere Nguba. She says, these good virtues should also be inculcated in the school curriculum because many schools have missed it. Mm. And I just wanted to take it from there because I remember in my daughter's school, when she first went there, you must curtsy to greet. So they were teaching mm -hmm. them. So mm -hmm. that's when they say from the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, they were teaching. So by, by the time you go out into, in, into the real world. Mm -hmm. You are well formed. Yeah. So, and I think, Chinyere, that thing that she said is really, really, mm -hmm. I think schools should now start to make sure it is taught I'm, from I, I went a young to, age. We used to have Lady of Lords. It, it was a Catholic school, but they taught us Scotsy. Mrs. Fuji, <laughs> we had one teacher, Mrs. Fuji. If you enter a class in the morning as a young girl, but then, then I was five, six, you would greet. Mm. When your classmate gives you a pen, the person will now tap you. You didn't say thank you. Mm, you say thank you. So you can re they can report that to teacher. Five magic When we got to secondary school, it was uh, our VP then, Mrs. Ekobe, who made even your smell. You know, you say, why? why? Get an antiperspirant. You can't be smelling anyhow up and down. Uh, offensive to your classmates. And these that. basic things I learned. The first day she shouted at me that, look at you. How can you look? Every day I made sure I looked neat. Mm. Their parents, you don't want to be in the face. When I now became a lawyer, went to court once and the magistrate said to somebody, you're in my face. I looked at the counsel. The, ah. How is he in your face? All of us are in your face now. <laughs> Nima, hold Someone... on. Let's take this call. <laughs> Amoyo from Oyo State. Good morning, Moyo. Dr. Moyo. Okay. The, uh, the, the media is not helping matters. Mm. Good morning, Dr. Of... Moyo. <laughs> We're starting from yes. ourselves now. You didn't, you didn't greet me. Ah, I'm not the number. Charity begins at home. Go ahead, ma. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, the kind of th uh, thing, music, that mm. Uh, mm. the media turns mm. out these mm. days. Yes. Mm. It's, it's not nice. It's not, mm. it's not pleasant at all. Mm. You know, yeah. um, there are some music. Um, I, I'm a savage. I'm nasty, mm. bitchy, mm. and rude. Mm. That's what I think is cool. It's cool to be nasty. It's cool to be so savage. Eventually. It's cool to be disrespectful. Mm. And uh, before, sometimes before I even correct some children, I set out for their parents so that I'll know whether I'm not wasting my time. Mm. Like, there's a particular girl, a teenager. Mm. She's very, very rude, very nasty. If you are talking to her as an adult, she'll be chewing gum, blowing gum. I blowing say, gum? Yes, <laughs> I'm making sounds with the chewing gum. So mm. before I say correcting her, ask her about her background. I did a mini search. How about your mom? Where's your mom? Says she's late. Okay, your dad, you call, he said... Uh, He's a cab driver, he's hardly around. I say, okay, okay, I get where this is coming from. Wow. Okay, who are your friends? Where do you grow up? Mm. Where, where, where do you go? Where is that girl? I say, she plays with the street people are around. I say, okay, okay, I figure this is where this is coming from. So, a lot of times, the environment matters, parents matter. So, even if you are correcting the child, the child will be saying you are. Ah, you know, she's too, she's too, she's too much. Mm. She, he doesn't get it that. You are trying to reform her. She thinks they are trying to bully her. That's the way she will see. Mm. But if from thank you so much, Dr. Moyo. Mm. Yes. Let me take this uh, uh, Facebook comment. Then Josiah I says, I think this is because people are becoming not just more toxic but also more selfish. Mm. This selfishness makes them think that everyone is just as negative as they are, mm. and therefore anyone who doesn't appear negative and selfish must be pretending. It must all must be fake. Mm. Lola Lawa says, some of these people on social media have mental health issues. Yet others... <laughs> sorry, I just lost it. Okay. Yet others will go and be copying them, not knowing that if that person is well upstairs, even they will not do some of the things so social media covers up a lot. Mm. Yeah, Labode Labisi yeah. says, it's parenting. <clears throat> Parents tend to cover up for their children. If you try to correct most parents... Uh, if you try to correct most parents, take offence. Mm. No, Non-speaking... Our language also is having effects of our, on our children. Mm. Mm. Emmanuel Ogumola, disrespect is reciprocal to don't come and claim age when you mess with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wisdom, mm -hmm. it's wisdom they say comes with age. <laughs> so your actions will meet equal reaction. <laughs> you raise your hand, I'm going to defend myself. Yes. <laughs> yes. From, yes. From, from this last comment, before the school, you have the home. Mm -hmm. So if the parents fail to do their jobs, mm. 
that is where the school comes into play. To help. But as parents, what kind of children are you raising? Mm. You know, except you're telling me you also have issues. You're also not wired right. Mm. So from the home... Because you can't give what you don't yes, have. Yes, we replicate what we are. Mm. You know, charity begins from the home. You don't come outside and give what you don't have. So if I come out exhibiting toxic behavioural mm -hmm. traits, it's because that you is what it. I have learned. That is what I have seen my parents do. If I misbehave or an adult comes to the house and I don't greet, my parents will call me. Have yeah. you greeted that parent? I will give you people a Yes. Gift. Or if they see me being rude to an older person, they will mm. caution yes. me. Mm. But if I do that today, I do that tomorrow, and I'm not cautioned, I think it's the norm. Mm. I'll go out and, you know, I'll be do very confident. Yes. Mm. Mm. I'll be confident to act out because I know my parents have sanctioned it. It's, it's fine. Yeah. I can. That's the norm. Let's take this call from OIL. OIL from the UK. Good morning. Hello, Yeni and Saul. How are you guys doing? We're doing Hello. amazing. Good morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good to have Mariah too. Uh, He's doing great. I want to do for the uh, white people be able to talk, especially this uh, period. I just want to say the only way we have the hardship, problems, and make people to lose their mind what's going on in Nigeria has made a lot of people to lose their mind. So this has, this is, it has affected their own children over time, and you see that they display that. The kids go out with the state first character and they learn from their parents. So that's one of the factors, although there are other contributing factors. But hardship problem is a major factor that affected parents, their character. You see them shouting, you see them quarreling, and their kids are over time they learn from such character. And that's what we are seeing in society today. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Oil. Um, I beg to disagree. He's yes. saying it's hardship that causes it. So, so um, most of the people I know who are humble are even the wealthy ones. Yes. I went to a school where we had uh, wealthy children in the midst of all of us, and they were the ones that would respect, that would talk to you politely, that would greet you. They are coming into your room, they pull their shoes, their slippers. Your, their shoe and slippers can buy your whole bunk and everything, but they will take it off. It was the ones that didn't have cocoa, nothing is gumming them anywhere, that come out and just show themselves. But I, I wanted to give a story about my father. Growing up, he normally sits in front of the house, studying the scriptures. And there's a connecting street at the back, because there was really no gates from our compound to the next street at the back. So people usually take that, uh, go through my compound as a way of shortcut. And then he sits with his glasses, the way YK used to wear that glass, and put it on his nose. And then you pass, and you don't greet. He will come. Hey, 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 you, come here. He's a sportsman, huge, everything. Come here. Did you say good morning, or did you say good afternoon? Eh, oh, where she? Where? Out. Out. Who is your father? They did not teach you how to greet. Mm. So, and because my father was a terror at the time, I knew that I must learn how to greet. Because he, he did not touch another person's child. For me, he would beat me. So I grew up with that. And I remember calling out a friend. Uh, most recently, and I was saying that I've noticed your kids don't greet. I've tried to address it, and I feel I should let you know, and then the person took it like I was judging. I said, no, you are my I should be able to tell you this is what I observed. Let's work on it together. Like, so maybe she it, doesn't understand that as a value. No, knows, but, but know then, but then uh, after the conversation and everything, the excuse I had was me, I don't even greet, and it's okay. I was like, wow. oh, I, I know you don't greet, but I was thinking we could make a difference yeah, so the, the, with your partner children. or your children yeah, you but for me how do we begin as human beings to reprogram our minds by ourselves so some people have missed the training from the from home. their parents but how do you now begin to train yourself so that you don't misbehave outside okay since um some homes have this um default setting of encouraging bad behavior that's <laughs> where we <laughs> that's when we get to the schools then once we get to the schools, we inculcate it in the curriculum mm -hmm. to make sure that these children are educated with the right etiquette. From there, I think um, it will transcend into the society. Hold your thoughts a bit. Let's take this call. Seko from Bene Republic. Good morning, Seko. Morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Go ahead, you're live. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, good morning, uh, this is Nima and uh, Maria. I'm calling from Kotonou, Guinea Republic. This is my first time. Oh, welcome to the you. show. It's not Mary Amo. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan of your program and uh, for the subject on ground this morning, I just want to say, you know, we are all human and uh, we can really be funny sometimes, but those who, are, who have great disposition are not all wrong people. No, I don't think so. Uh, it's just that uh, it depends on our uh, background and all, all, all the criteria that can make somebody funny today, maybe the best one tomorrow. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's not something that is uh, stable. Uh, a human being is not a perfect creature. So, and uh, before wrapping up, you know, <laughs> I just want to express my condolence to your Mariah. sister, Moriah, yeah, and my sister you, too, sir. for the demise of her mom. Thank you. So just, I hope uh, she's uh, watching your view this morning, so to stay. She would hear. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, mm. sir. Anyway, I, remember, I remember one time when I was a young girl. My Yoruba was very poor in the past. I did not have proper Yoruba then. And this Yoruba woman would usually come to my house. She would call out my mom. When, when my mom is away, she would come and call us out in the name of correction. And then use harsh words as if abusing my mother. Wow. You know, and anytime I report to my mom, my mom would just be like, she didn't say that. So on one of such occasions, I thought, eh, she be, my mom does usually believe us when we tell her, People come and talk bad about her, so I would say I would defend myself. My, I'm sure my aunt is watching the beating that I got. <laughs> so I, the woman came as usual, and this time I, she, I just said, "Yo," she said, "Omoshi." I said, wow. "Yoshi," back. I know these are negatives. And wow. when my mom came, as usual, I wanted to be the first to talk, but unfortunately, my mom met the woman outside, and the woman said to her that I insulted her and I used such words to her. And my mom came up and said, "I, I had the defense. My sisters were my witnesses." I wanted to talk. My mom said, no matter what happened, mm. you, you and me. After beating me, she now said, you and me in this house were fighting until you go and apologize to the woman. I felt ah. doubly cheated. You. I did not want it. Mm. I called my dad on the phone. Then he was in the cat. I called, I reported my mom. Nothing could abate my mom in the house until I went to beg this woman. So the day, she said it must be in public because I, I talked to that woman in public. And this woman in her mind, she, auntie, knows. she was unfair to me. So I went to say to the woman I was sorry. I knelt down in public and I apologized to her. And when it was, she then said, oh, mommy, you what about me? So all my aunts are laughing at me that I showed toy and guinea cock and all of that. And I was proud. So later I asked my mom, that, what did you gain? She said, I gained a child. Mm. Wow. Mm. I know the woman mm. is negative, mm. but I don't want her to help me raise my child. Mm. You that I'm doing everything to raise every day, you know they hear what. Mm. Now you don't they cause people for public. If I would tell you that it's okay to be mad, mm. that's why this is what I did, child. that she gained her child. Let's take this so, call, Patricia from Abuja. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, can you hear Good me? Morning. We can yes, hear you, Patricia. you're live. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Yes, so... Um, I'm very happy uh, discussing about this topic today because uh, I think it has become a worrisome situation where people just feel that um, the negative is now becoming the norm. More like people are becoming more interested in negative things. And now, when someone is being positive, you are you are trying to you know you are putting yourself out there, doing the right thing, showing love, and people feel that. There's something wrong with you. You are being fake. So uh, they accept the negative. They accept wrong to be right. I'm very happy that you're talking about this. I think uh, people should do more of this talking. People like you that are role models, that uh, have the years of people, especially young ones. Let's put out the right thing out there. It's not okay for people to misbehave. It's, not, it's, it's not never okay. okay. That's okay. Yeah. Let's sell the right values. Thank it's you so important. much, uh, Patricia. I, I, I really love what she said. You know, we, we have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let us push the right message Very important. to the younger people so that when they grow up, they will know mm -hmm. what the difference between right and wrong. Because mm -hmm. what I'm seeing is that we are not knowing There are the no boundaries anymore. Mm -hmm. There are no boundaries mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. 
That's why an Okada man will be driving on the opposite side of the road. And if you t tell him that, that why it takes wrong, he will tell you that you are stupid. <laughs> you, that you are in the normal lane. Mm. He coming against mm. traffic, traffic will tell you that you are not well. Mm. You know, Wake, I always also think that we should leave the right things. We should be you an know, example. Yes, be an example. I, you know, being an uh, educationist, I was taught that children model after what they see. Yes. So I can be telling my children, don't do this, don't do that, and then I'm doing the opposite. They'll mm -hmm. just be looking at me like, oh. Mm -hmm. Especially these days that these children are really very sensitive to their environment. Mm -hmm. How do we keep ourselves? How do we always monitor ourselves? How can we check on one another? So you notice this about this person. You politely tell the person, this is what I notice. I don't think it's good. And the person takes it in good faith, not that you're fighting me. Because sometimes you notice some things. Mm -hmm. And because of the way the person may react, you will not tell the person. Sometimes I also found that those people who are doing those things don't even know that they are doing. How do you think we can begin to help one another in this? Mm. Okay. Yeah, you call out what is bad as what is bad. Okay. Every time you see, you, you can't start. Recently, I felt disrespected by a young girl. I just decided to cut off the girl because I didn't feel the conversation was necessary. But I don't want to give the girl the impression it's okay to be rude mm. to me. So you... You call it out, or you 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 stop it immediately. You dis, you disabuse their mind from continuing that rubbish. You stop it as soon as you see it. If it is amongst your peers, mm -hmm. I wanted to get that. That's the difficult conversation because everybody now starts. To, now we, we don't even know what we worship anymore. Some people worship money. Mm. That's why we can we, we see something that is totally averse to normal reasoning, and we say, and we Why are you ask? Did you ask them when they were poor? Did you ask them kiniko all those kind of things? The kind of narrative I hear it worries me. We, if we cannot, if we can, me for a friend, if I tell my friend this thing that you're doing is wrong and the person won't listen, you won't see me in your house again. It means that we have different <laughs> minds. Mm. Let me take this call. Ayeni from Surulere. Good morning, Ayeni. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you doing? What are you? We're fine, mm. sir. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. I, I think uh, what is basically happening nowadays is what we used to call uh, Iroleaye. Mm. In the world, evening, evening of the world. just winding down now. Because uh, even our government is not even helping matters at all. Because there are some uh, sort of music that mm. our uh, the young ones are listening to now mm. that mm. preach all this, you know, bad behaviors. And there's no any uh, government thing that is even checking that. I imagine uh, somebody like a like musician holding a group that they are saying they have no manner, no this, no that. And our children are listening to them. Like when we are growing up, most of the songs we listen to, they are the songs that, you know, we be telling you. Gospel song. We telling you what to do. You know? And you as you are listening, you'll be even if you don't want to correct yourself, those songs correct will correct you. So far you are listening to them and you're singing along. Hmm. Thank Let's, you so much, Mr. Ayani. I, I, I love where Nima went to just yeah. now. She went to money. We don't know what we are worshipping again. We worship money. money. That is the our problem. main cocoa problem. If you have money, you can do anything and you get can do and do. And everybody will worship you and worship the ground you walk on. So even you go will be not correct in your mind yes. because you have now begun to feel untouchable. Mm, on top of the world. On top of the world because you have some chicken change. Because we are mm. billionaires are talking. We billionaires who... They are like, not there. They are, humble, you are, you are no, not inside. They are not even billionaires yet. They are even humble. Mm. The billionaires are humble. Eh, all them Bill Gates and Kong Kong. Those ones. You know the kind of money those ones spend. We are, we are not inside their legal. Mm. A person will be a politician. He made money from you gotten gains from defrauding no. you as a Nigerian. Yes. Yeah, when you it. see him, you will be you will be buying your knee, you will be touching the guy, everything. You will just be misbehaving. Be just because he has that money. Mm. So and so when you see someone who doesn't have the money, you disrespect him or her. Mm -hmm. You disrespect the person because we, our values, that's what I'm saying, we have lost our values. Mm. And that's the cause of our problems now. Before I come to you, uh, Cynthia, let's take this call from Ikotu. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Koro. Hello. Good morning, sir. 
Yeah, good morning. I really appreciate the, Can you hear me? We can hear you. We can hear you. Uh, all right. I said I really appreciate your program. It is mind-blowing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Quickly, I just want to make my comment. Go ahead, when sir. I was a little you. child, mm -hmm. you are being told by everybody around you. Everybody around you. One or the other, you need to live. When you are on phone, you need to with you. Your parents will continue. And nobody, nobody will read any kind of Bible, you know, over it. Then in school, we have a day set aside for moral instruction. In my own second school, community school for Canada, handled by the principal himself, moral instruction. Yeah. We are being spoken to, you know, different aspect of life. More importantly, you know, how to relate with people and all that. Then even as little as food, when we buy something like sardine, we eat it inside bush. <laughs> <laughs> we have to hide to eat it. Food. The little children smoke openly. Tag their trousers, show their dirty boxers everywhere, mm. even in front of their parents. Mm. Mm. When you buy egg, you have to hide to eat it because when the egg is you say, ah, the way this died is really, you know, the thief. going, mm. that it may end up to be a thief mm. and not that. Ah. Thank oh, you so much, me. Mr. Okoro. Let me just add some Cynthia of Cynthia has not spoken. <laughs> our Facebook comments quickly. Okay. okay. Clara Ayuk says, you guys are a blessing to our generation. Keep it up. The world is listening. Morals are fast running out. Um, Rolake says, Men, men's evil deeds are written in bra on brass, mm. and the good ones are written on water. People with good behavior rarely make history. Therefore, people began to lose values. When people with good behaviors, good values begin to see those without values achieve a lot. They begin to see no reason with values. Mm. Society should learn to appreciate good values. Mm. Yeah, celebrate it. Go ahead, Cynthia. Yes, from this comment, it points out where we got things wrong. When people steal to get rich or defer people to get rich, they are mm. being celebrated. While mm -hmm. the person who goes through the system, mm. you know, works honestly, but ends up not so rich, is not celebrated, is mm. ignored. That mm. is where the problem started from. Mm. And um, if we, as the society, we learn to call out people who are doing wrong, call out people who have toxic behavioral traits, um, you don't disrespect anybody and go away with it. Mm. That's where the policing system starts from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, we begin to look out for each other. Police ourselves. Yes. yes. Mm. That mm. is, I think, will we'll change. Yeah, let's yes. take people this call uh, from yes. Felix. Good morning, Felix from Yola. Yes. Yeah. yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. Morning. First time caller. Good Welcome morning. to the show. Yeah, thank you. I'm a regular follower of this program. Several yeah. times. I try to reach you to book, but it's only difficult to pass through. But thank God I'm with you today. Yeah. And the Welcome. program is very educative. Thank you. You know, the problem we're having this day was nobody was talking about people worshiping money. You see, people irrespective of your age, mm. because you are privileged to have money to disrespect people. Mm. People don't make you understand that people need to be respected. Sometimes you go to shop, you want to buy something. The person is telling you to get in that you cannot even beat you. It's expecting you to beat him. Mm. And the lady will mm. ask you, what do you want? You go to some people now, they'll ask service. you, what do you want? Mm. Some pastors know that this person is my elder, but because he's a pastor, it's a that you still know him. Mm. It's expecting you to beat him because mm. he's a pastor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People are losing the norms of respect when it comes to age. But age is very paramount in anything you do. That's why there's a culture in Rogoro and they call it the Rogoro people. You, the senior does not tell the junior of Miko. Mm, they Miko. know. A typical old man, you me tell him Miko, I will tell him no. It's me, I will tell him Miko. Because mm. you understand what culture stands. So this thing needs to be taught to people. People need to understand you respect people for you to earn that respect. Mm. So that you have your money, go to that person's senior too, and that respect must be accorded to that person. And that's the only way we can go. Mm. Because they have to understand this country. Thank you, Mr. Felix. That was very passionate. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to take this um, tube from Andrew Stretham. He says, in the days of old, of old Nigeria, if you are rude, your parents would gladly soak the cane in water overnight yes. or pepper. and apply it the next day. Yes. Mm. <laughs> and it's true, because 
our parents in those days, they didn't take, you are rude, you are rude. Mm. Pass, pass, pass. Reset your Reset brain for you. Reset one time. You know, nobody's resetting our brains now. Mm. Why, did you just say that? I thought you didn't like me resetting my daughter all the time. No, your own is your own <laughs> child abuse. <laughs> I think modernization, yeah, I you're trying to copy the... I used to have cane before. They advised me that it's not good to have cane. But let me quickly take this call before I come to you. Yakub, good morning, Mr. Mm. Yakub. Yeah, good morning, all the who claim because of the time. Uh, the, the problem we have is just uh, the government. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, who sent all the team that we are watching at home? Who, who is controlling it? And then let me give you another typical example here. Everybody watch uh, the, uh, Big Brother something. I don't want to mention the name. <laughs> you, you know how much the, the winner got. And then the, the, the best brain in the university. Mm. What are they getting from there? 100,000. So mm. they, are, they, are, they are not making they are not making people to do the good thing. Yes. And then we are watching Big, Big Brother something. And then the person take home a lot of money. So the brain in the university, what are they getting, as I said earlier? Yeah. It's only God will help us. Thank Amen. you. Thank you so much, Mr. Yakub. Mr. Mm. Uh, Ms. Cynthia? Yes. Modernization. We are trying to outdo the white people. No, no, no. What <laughs> you see, the British people, they have moral, they have morals, morals and respect yes, in their so they side. Okay. It's the other side across the Atlantic that we are copying. Where you can decide you can... The, the MF was going to decide. Run. No, no, that's a chance. Okay, go to so that you side. don't go to that side, okay? It's the other side. It's our sister mm. that goes to that uh, That's what someone said. Uh, Donald Trump was very rude. <laughs> As a president, he used to abuse people every second. And countries, yes. I mean, it, that is very true, you know? Um, even their music, even their music, yes. they, 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 they used and to that's just abuse each other. It's you know, based used on to have about this, this music, they do all those things. And our music are copied, copied yes, it now. Yeah. That's what we copied. And somebody said here, yeah, I don't know, I have to look for it, said we used to teach moral instruction in oh, schools school. before. Well, it does not, well. it is not uh, there anymore. a subject anymore. Mm -hmm. It was a subject and you had to pass it. So mm -hmm. that means you had to know how to behave. Mm -hmm. Now we have removed, just the same way we have removed history. We have removed moral instruction. They keep saying no, they've brought history back, but I have... Uh, nieces and nephews in school, and all of them have told yeah. me about the, history. I a, a friend who, saw, who someone was trying to be kind to, and she thought the person was pretending. Said, "Please, please, please, I don't need your care. I don't need your uh, your care." I said, hmm, "May you not live in the world one day that you, you will not see anybody care. to yeah. be kind to you." Yeah. Kindness is something that you reciprocate immediately with 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 peace, no matter whether you trust it or not. Mm. Just collect it, it, take first. receive it. Let's take this Negativity call, Tunde, from Benin, and then I come to Cynthia for her final thoughts. Good morning, Mr. Tunde. Yeah, good morning. Go ahead, your life, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very, I find it very interesting, the topic you are discussing, and uh, because one thing I would like to say is this. Uh, the military, uh, all the years of military rule, has affected our psyche, the way yes. we think. Yes. We believe in doing things by force and getting our way by being possible. Mm. So it, it has affected us a lot. Mm. Some of us that have, have had the opportunity of traveling out of this country, we know that people are more gentle, they are, they, they are more in, well, better behaved mm. outside Nigeria. But yeah. here, because all the years of military rule, everybody seems seem to think that I can always get my way by being forced, by forcing my way. It has affected the way we think, the way we reason, the way we behave. Hmm. So uh, it, it, it's very bad. And it's, there is need for culture change. There is need for uh, real values and culture change in Nigeria. Mr. Tunde, what do you suggest? What do you suggest we can begin to do? But this yes. culture change you're talking Until about. we believe that you don't have to operate the other person to show that you, you have to be gentle. It's not a sign of weakness for one to be gentle and to be kind to others. Okay. I can give you an example. I mean, I've had opportunity of traveling out of Nigeria. I mean, I've seen how people have been helpful to me and things like that. So I, I, it's because for time constraint now, I cannot be telling you the details of what my experience was. I understand. But I can tell you that you, the years of military rule in Nigeria has really affected us negatively yes, because okay. we believe that Small we can always forget Thank you, Mr. Tunde. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, uh, Cynthia? Okay, um, 
Yes, he made a point, but should we allow um, situations of life bring out the worst out of us? Mm. I, I really don't agree totally with that. If you're a good person, if you are someone with manners, regardless of where you find yourself, regardless of where you have been pushed to, it will always show. So we, we, have, we still have to go back to the home, from the home to the schools to the society, then set up a policing system. Let's call out each other. Mm -hmm. If I'm rude to you, if I disrespect you, call me out. Regardless of how I, I will feel, don't sugarcoat it, mm -hmm. because that is what has brought us to this point. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Anima, let's have your final thoughts. Okay, so um, it's okay to be kind. Mm -hmm. Kindness is, is, a, is a value. And, and it's something that, according to my people, brings out your beauty. Mm. If you, instead of wearing a makeup, wear a smile, wear a kind word, and those basic sorry thank you that makes life easy. The Professor Aslam used to even say, give little gifts, mm. no matter how small, because you know, it gets you goodwill. Mm. I think that's, um, that's what me, I would like to say on this. I just okay. want to answer Cynthia about, you know, if you have a child, yes that from a baby, as he or she is growing up, and you're saying, you are stupid, you are this, you are that, and everybody, everybody in the house is talking like that. That baby is not going to know the right difference between wrong. right yeah. from wrong. Yeah. Everything is right, everything is wrong. Yeah. So that is what uh, that gentleman that could that the military rule that has yes. been, because we have been losing our values. It's not today From that then, we lost our values. Yes, yes. What the Nigeria you see today, it didn't start yesterday. But it has been. But why can you did not lose your values? Were you not under the same military rule? No. You were not. Remember, I was, what? but it, it it was small, small, small. small, small. It was taken at first. I, 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 I was born, I was born in 1961. Okay. It, we were under civilian regime, yeah. I believe. Sure. Yes. Sure. sure. Yes. Yeah. Then the military came in '66. Civilians still, and then when even the, those military guys came, they, they were still a bit normal because they, of, they, yes. they were coming the from a normal ones. place. Mm. But the ones after, they, they were not even big, big thieves like they became. Yes, you know, just looting. And then they started obey before complain. Uh -huh. They will do something wrong. You have to obey. I know we have to go. So little by little, our values have been Dropping, chipped out, and yeah. that is what has caused... Landed us where we are now. Where well, we are, me, where you, everybody is going to one lane. Yeah. Ten lanes going into one lane, of course, there's <laughs> going to be good slow. Thank you, ladies. Oh, uh, for me, I think um, it's our responsibility to change the narrative, and we mm -hmm. can only start by being the narrative. So if you want kindness, if you want love, you want honesty, you want integrity, let us start showing that example, and hopefully the younger generation may pick up from us and we'll have a better future. Amen. That's all we can take for today. Join us again tomorrow. Bye-bye.